Kaum kamdon mau put ban kang yaka laong umentri rangba Konrad K Sangma ha kelumpung sain perkat ban penne pensa ban tingkai bat ban yasam ya kaum ha pereng ki para briu ka belalong ha shlong ha kini kelumpung sain perkat lawan ki riu start na Thailand Nepal Bhutan Myanmar Cambodia bat Vietnam rengkat ki he ki han jong ki sarkar jong ki ke jing ekren hakini ke lumpung kilong haki phang ki bede bat ko umbam umdi ke jing kala kamaryang bat ke jing don kam ban penne yaki khlaw haki saudong saukun jong kini kiri ulo ong ke jing kala hakamaryang kan kta shibun ya ke jing im jong ki briu ya ka rap ke riang bat ya ke jing shit jing khriat hasla perthai kumta ulo ong kiri jong ka perthai ki don kam ban ye mir jing mot bat ban sandur thmai ikir kom tri kam ban ya dai ki pat ban riu nek jing e ki ba ab khmat ka jing thmu jong ni kalumpung ka long ban wan ra ya ka rukom tri kam ka thmai ha ka ba kitna jong ka sarkar kin tri lang shrup na ka benta ka wei ka jing thmu kum ju ru ki ri ka perthai kin le ya ka ba ya dai bat ka jing pen ne bat jing ting ka ye ki spa ma riang ki ba ukhun ban riu shitlup ka perthai udon kam ye ki Hakini kelumpung sain perkhat la don lang uba coming one embon u menteri water resources ka kong amprin ling do menteri ketanat ka kuat ka khia uba el hek menteri penroi jingri bat debashri mukherjee secretary ka jal shakti jong ka sarkar india in the next 10 to 15 years uh, if necessary steps are not taken today we will be facing much more larger scale of scale of uh, problem and more importantly maybe too late for us to then start the work uh, to mitigate those particular problems that we have and hence this particular water conclave and uh, this water policy actually is a holistic approach to everything from drinking water to the reservoirs to catchment area protection to the spring rejuvenation to overall proper management of water so on and so forth and this particular water policy is in fact what has been driving us and guiding us uh, to address many issues when it comes to to water related issues that we have 6800 plus villages in our state and today we have a water committee in every village and therefore whenever the water issues are coming up we ensure that these committees take up this issue work with the state government work with the district and the block officials work with the departments and then come up with a holistic approach uh, so that it's sustainable also in nature at the grassroots level and that has been as i said one of the more important uh, decisions that the state government took and today as i said we have a very very uh, you know a very effective water policy that has been implemented at the grassroots level we have a huge issue, madam, with uh, our rivers. And as you are aware, the uh, Umshirpi and the Wamukra are uh, definitely one of the you know, streams and rivers that need special attention. And I'm happy to uh, share with you that we have been uh, in constant touch with your, uh, with your ministry to find solutions to this. I have personally taken up the matter with uh, our Honorable Minister and he has assured us of full support uh, and he has asked us to relook into the entire proposal which we are doing as we speak and hopefully in about a couple of months time we should be going back to you uh, to ask you to support us in uh, rejuvenating some of the uh, more critical rivers and streams in uh, Shillong city as well as in other parts of the state. Uh, as you know, most of the water connections in the city uh, have been there for the last 20 years, 30 years, even as long as 40, 45 years. And hence, the entire network, the pipes, the entire infrastructure uh, needs to be revamped uh, completely. And hence, uh, a huge financial burden, of course, will be there. Uh, and we know that we cannot do it in one go, but it is a very, very important issue. We also have issues... Uh, because of multiple other factors in terms of our different activities related with uh, mining and other economic activities which we are aware of and hence we are working in a manner where we can have a balance between 
the economic livelihood of the people as well as the sustainability of the environment and of the streets and the rivers. And striking this balance sometimes is one of the most difficult things that any government and economy has to do as livelihood is also important but obviously our streams, waters and our forest also is, is equally important. Uh, and therefore with these challenges in mind, with these issues that we have, uh, we are moving forward. We realize that uh, we cannot change everything in a day. Uh, everything is a process. But uh, what I'd like to share with all of you is that Meghalaya has really taken this very seriously. And uh, many, many things have happened in the past. Many more things need to be done in the future. And hence, this conclave is of great importance to us and to the region so that we can collaborate our efforts together, we can synergize our efforts together so that we are able to achieve uh, a larger goal and larger outcome. We realized that a small state like Meghalaya ends up spending close to about seven to 8,000 crores on different water supplies and water-related schemes and projects, externally aided projects, central schemes, state schemes, and somehow we don't end up talking to each other and really focusing on what really the goal is. So number one, the objective of this actual conference and the conclave is to bring everybody together, department-wise, throughout state governments, throughout different organizations, throughout society, to realize that we need to keep our eye on the ball. And we need to address the issues and not just focus on scheme implementation or completion of certain targets. And hence, a holistic approach is required. We need to realize that there is a larger objective to what individually every department is doing and we need to talk to each other. Number two, we also realized that though geographically speaking, we have different states, we have different countries out here, but when it comes to environment and water related issues, Water doesn't have boundaries. And hence, it is important that different state governments talk to each other. Different countries talk to each other. We realize that in a particular geographical region, we have factors that affect us each. And therefore, if we are not aligned in our you know, efforts and in our goals, we actually may not be able to achieve the full potential if we are able to actually work together. So this is the genesis of the project and this conclave that we had. Number three, why the water conclave? So we have, and I think every other state and the government in the country has got what we call the climate councils. And the chief minister heads the climate council. We realize that climate change, obviously, apart from the normal problems we have, Climate change is only impacting these problems even at a larger scale. And hence, from the Climate Council, we had started advocating and working and talking to departments, telling them that we need to start addressing these issues at a state scale, at a regional level in the country, and even in a geo, you know, kind of a, a political kind of uh, other countries around us so that we are able to address these concerns in a larger platform where we bring everybody together.